Hey, what's up? I just want to really quickly give a tour of my Dramatic Play Space Station rocket ship space theme Dramatic Play. So let's get to it. Here is the view from the outside. I just use a tiny little corner. And honest to goodness, this has been played with every day for the last month. And I even made my rocket ship a year ago. So that's been played with for two months. Anyway, so it's not perfect because it's real life and things get played with. So here I have a box full of numbers and they choose a mission number and attach it and their destination. And here they have a box of planets and they attach it. And I'm a bilingual Chinese teacher, so I have the Chinese with it too. But my TPT store has it with and without. And they write their name if they're gonna be flying. So this is uh, rocket ship is here. Oh, let me close the door. Uh, was made from a TV box, a large TV box, but there are some pop-up ones on Amazon, which would probably be so much easier to store, honestly. <laughs> and someday I'll probably just invest in one of those. But I made this out a, of a TV box. They enter a code or a password and I hang up garbage bags just so that it looks a little bit more magical on the inside. So they walk in through here, airlock open. And like I said, I have a really small space. So I hang Christmas lights so that it looks like stars and those glow in the dark stars. I just print out some planets. Uh, I have printables for the control panel and the observation deck. I bought goggles and tape. Well, the goggles are from Amazon. This is from Oriental Trading. I have a couple variations of observation recording sheets and um, things that they can use as they pull out rocks that they're going to observe that are supposed to be space rocks, magnifying glasses. And, well, first let me show this. Um, space food comes in containers and they have to like slurp it out. So that's why I put it in baggies. Yeah. So I have lots of uh -huh. different. <laughs> I need your mark. You have quid yeah. So, shrimp cocktail, breakfast, lots of different um, kind of space food. And I added first aid. I also. I made printables for a repair station for like loose parts. I just didn't have a shelf to give it. And here is my control panel. Some of it is printable. Most of it is recycled. So I print out like uh, keyboard panels yeah. and countdown yeah. numbers so they can touch it as they count down from 10 to one and then blast off. These are obviously recycled CDs, and most of these are just different lids from things. And a recycled cord just so that they can like open it and clip it and old keyboards. So this is real life, so it's not perfect because some things break, and that's just things I learn along the way. I didn't do this very secure, and so that's my own fault. But to give you an idea, I just punched holes and then added this printable cover so that and the numbers so that it's like a slider that um, says, you know, power up and then they move it up higher. Oh, and apparently my engine number fell off. <laughs> Sorry. And then boosters up to five or seven or whatever and they can slide these. Like every year I try to make it a little bit better. This is one thing that after this year, I'm gonna pull this off and try to do something different. But the one thing is the first year I just glued things and that was not great. This year, I drilled holes in each of these bottle caps, as you can see all over and there. Um, I drilled holes, and then I just put a long one inch brad through the center, and then just bent it at the back, and then all of a sudden, shablam, you can turn things. So that's way cool. Oh, and you could even add these colored stickers just to add some colors like I did there and there. So that's a control panel, pretty easy. And there's so much different things you can do.